In a significant update for all those navigating the Canadian immigration system, Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, has rolled out its latest processing times for various immigration and citizenship applications. The monthly update, released on November 5th, and the subsequent weekly update on November 13th, reflect the current state of application backlogs and processing speeds across key categories. Staying on top of these updates is essential for applicants to plan their immigration journey effectively, particularly as processing times can vary significantly depending on the type of application and the applicant's location. This video will break down the latest processing times for citizenship, permanent residency, PR, cards, family sponsorship, economic immigration, and temporary residency. Before we get into the specifics, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest Canadian immigration news. If you know someone who could benefit from these insights, share this video with them, this information could make all the difference. Alright, let's dive in. Citizenship Processing Times, Updated Monthly For those on the path to becoming Canadian citizens, IRCC has outlined the latest timelines. The grant of citizenship now takes approximately seven months, reflecting a one-month increase since the last update. The processing time for citizenship certificates remains steady at four months, while renunciation of citizenship continues to take 16 months. Notably, the search for citizenship records has seen a slight improvement, now taking 11 months, down by one month from the previous update. As of now, IRCC is issuing Acknowledgement of Receipt, AOR, letters for applications submitted during the week of October 28, 2024. This timeline is particularly relevant for those tracking the progress of their applications. Permanent Resident Card Processing Times, Updated Weekly For new permanent residents or those renewing their PR cards, the processing times provide some stability. The issuance of new PR cards remains consistent at 25 days, while Prairie Card renewals have seen a slight improvement, now taking 54 days, 5 days faster than last month. These updates underscore the need for timely applications, especially for those planning international travel. Family Sponsorship Processing Times, Updated Monthly Family reunification remains a cornerstone of Canada's immigration policy, and the latest processing times reflect varying timelines depending on the category. Applications for spouses or common-law partners outside Canada, excluding Quebec, remain steady at 10 months. However, for those in Quebec, the timeline has increased slightly to 36 months. For spouses or common-law partners applying from within Canada, the timeline has improved, now taking 12 months. In contrast, Applications from within Quebec continue to take 27 months. Parents and grandparents outside Quebec can expect processing times of 24 months, while those in Quebec face longer waits of up to 48 months. Economic Immigration Processing Times, Updated Monthly and Weekly Canada's economic immigration streams have seen mixed updates in processing times. The Canadian Experience Class, CEC, and the Federal Skilled Worker Program, FSWP, both maintain a consistent processing time of five months. For provincial nominee programs, PNPs, linked to express entry, the timeline remains unchanged at six months, but PNPs without express entry have increased by a month, now taking 13 months. Quebec's Skilled Workers Program has seen a more notable change, with processing times extending to 11 months, an increase of two months. The Atlantic Immigration Program, AIP, now takes eight months, reflecting a one-month increase, while the timeline for federal self-employed persons remains steady at 48 months. For Quebec's business class and the startup visa program, processing times stand at 58 months and 40 months, respectively, with the former seeing a significant nine-month increase. Temporary Residency Processing Times, Updated Weekly Temporary residency applications exhibit considerable variation depending on the applicant's location and the specific category. Visitor visa applications from outside Canada Processing times differ significantly across countries. For applicants in India, the timeline is 113 days, a reduction of one day from last month. In the United States, it now takes 23 days, three days faster. Nigeria remains unchanged at 175 days, while in Pakistan, the timeline has increased to 29 days. Applicants in the Philippines can expect processing times of 18 days, reflecting a one-day improvement. Visitor visa applications from inside Canada For those applying online from within Canada, the timeline has improved slightly now taking 23 days. Extensions for visitor records now require 146 days, reflecting a six-day reduction. Super visa applications by country. Processing times for super visas also vary. For applicants in India, it now takes 121 days, three days longer. 
The United States has seen a substantial improvement, with processing times reduced by 24 days to 113 days. In Nigeria, timelines have increased slightly to 54 days, while Pakistan has seen a six-day reduction, now at 125 days. Applicants from the Philippines face a four-day increase, bringing the timeline to 114 days. Study Permit Processing Times For study permits, applicants from outside Canada face timelines that depend on their country of origin. India remains steady at eight weeks, while the United States now requires 15 weeks, an increase of one week. Nigeria continues at 10 weeks, and applicants from Pakistan face an increased timeline of 14 weeks. The Philippines remains unchanged at six weeks. For those applying from within Canada, study permits now take 15 weeks, one week faster than last month. However, study permit extensions have increased significantly, now requiring 155 days, 18 days longer than the previous update. Work Permit Processing Times Work permits for applicants outside Canada also show varied timelines. In India, processing times have improved slightly, now at 27 weeks. In the United States, applicants face an increased timeline of 11 weeks, while Nigeria remains steady at 24 weeks. Applicants from Pakistan now face an 18-week timeline, a one-week reduction. In the Philippines, timelines have improved by two weeks, now at six weeks. For work permits submitted from within Canada, the processing time has increased to 168 days, reflecting a 14-day rise. Other temporary residency programs. For specialized temporary residency categories, the Seasonal Agriculture Worker Program, SAWP, has seen a dramatic reduction, now requiring just eight days, a 201-day improvement from last month. The International Experience Canada, IEC, program remains consistent at five weeks, and electronic travel authorizations, ADAs, continue to be processed almost instantly, within five minutes. What these updates mean for you? IRCC's updated processing times reveal ongoing efforts to streamline application reviews and reduce backlogs, but they also highlight the continued variability in timelines based on program type and location. For applicants, staying informed about these changes is critical for planning ahead and ensuring timely submissions. The latest changes serve as a reminder of the importance of thorough preparation. Delays, while sometimes inevitable, can often be mitigated by ensuring all required documents are submitted correctly and on time. If you are navigating the Canadian immigration process, Keeping track of these updates will empower you to make informed decisions and set realistic expectations. Thank you for joining us for this detailed breakdown of IRCC's latest processing times. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest Canadian immigration news. Share this video with anyone who might find it useful, it could make all the difference in their immigration journey. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.